In this video, I paint Pike from Vox Machina. Hello Bits Brood, it's Craig from BitsVox.co.uk here. And in this video, I'm going to be painting Pike from the Vox Machina set from the Critical Role Miniatures. And as always, I'm going for a tabletop standard on this miniature. And she is quite quick and easy to paint. So, and before we begin, as always, if you are new to this channel, or you're just here for Critical Role Miniatures, then do feel free to hit the subscribe button down below. You can keep up to date with everything we put out on the channel. And before we begin as well, just a huge shout out and a massive thank you to all of our Patreons. And if you want to know what our Patreon is all about, there is a link down below. So yeah, let's get straight into painting Pike. So here we have the Pike miniature, and as always, I've sprayed this miniature in... GW Graysear Primer, but you can use any primer that you so wish. So I'm going to start by painting her armour with some Grey Knight's Steel. So this is a really nice sort of bluey silver colour, it's quite light as well. And I'm literally just painting this over most of the miniature. Just leaving like her weapon and her face and hair free, but the rest of the miniature for now is painting this colour. Next I'm going to take some Calador Sky, and this is for her little tabard and her robe at the back. And let's bring her into shot. I'm just going to do a couple of thin coats of this colour to get a nice smooth finish. It does go on pretty well over the undercoat, and if you've got any of the silver on these areas it will cover over them fine as well. And you can see I'm just doing this sort of cloak thing at the back. I'm also going to do a little bit of where her clothes are on the back of her legs as well. So next I'm going to take some non oil and just wash both these areas. This will really bring out a lot of the detail in the armour and also on the um, cloth areas as well. So once that is dry, I'm going to take some Stormhost Silver, and this is to highlight all them silver areas. Now if you want, you could even dry brush this, but I've just gone with a thin brush and just paint in a lot of the more sharper details. So not just sort of a normal highlighting thing here, just sort of edge highlighting all the sort of raised areas. I'm not going over everywhere, but just most of the more sort of prominent areas and it really makes the armor looks very shiny. So next up is some techless blue and this is to highlight the blue areas of course. So I thinned it down just a little bit and as always just gonna hit the higher points on these areas. And this is a really nice blue and that does provide a really nice highlight for these. So again just take your time and use a good tip on your brush. So Retributor Armour is for all the gold areas, so mainly her weapon here, and there's a few little bits of gold detail on her armour as well. Again, I thinned it out just slightly just to help it flow off the brush. So I'm going to paint her entire shoulder pads gold with a few other little bits as well. And then I'm going to take some Seraph and Sepia and just wash these areas to bring out the detail. Focus mainly on the shoulder pads and the weapon, but do little bits on the chest as well. So once that's dry, I'm going to take some Uruk Armour Gold. And this is of course to highlight these areas. Now you can sort of see where it hits for light, where you want the highlights to go. So all these little raised areas. Um, it's a long view weapon shaft as well. That just adds a nice little shine to these areas. And just a sort of edge highlight sort of thing on the armour. So next is some flayed one flesh. So I'm gonna paint her skin a bit lighter than how I normally paint skin. And I think she's a bit paler than the other members of Vox Machina. So again, just a couple of thin coats to get a nice smooth finish here. And then I'm going to take some Reutland Flesh Shade, so this will then um, bring the colour of the flesh 
a little bit warmer. So she won't look too pale by the time we're done. It does sort of pull up in the eyes, but you can sort of, sort of suck it back up with your brush. This just helps bring out the detail on the face. So next I take some Pallid Witch Flesh, and this is of course to highlight these areas, so thin it down more than you would normally, and then apply it to the, sort of above the eyes, the nose, the chin and the cheeks. It's a pretty standard way of highlighting faces to this sort of quick and easy tabletop standard. Next is some Ulfuan Grey, and this is for our hair. And again, just sort of thin it out and just paint it over all of the hair. Obviously be careful not to get it on the face. Then take some white scar to highlight the hair, so I'm just doing sort of random lines across the hair. And I apologise, I don't know why she's a bit out of shot there. But I'm just going across the sort of raised strands of hair with a fine tip on my brush. And that just helps. Just bring out the detail on the hair. As you can see now. So going along the edges as well. That gives her her nice white hair. And then lastly, as always, just paint the base however you want. I'm just using a bad and black. And I apply two or three thin coats of this to get a nice smooth finish. And here is the finished Pike miniature. So yeah, she's very quick and easy to paint. Um, the majority of her is her armor. So yeah, nice quick and easy one this time. But I really like the results. Now I don't know what she's holding in her left hand, so I sort of just focused more of my silver highlights on that. So it's sort of lighter silver than her armor. But you could paint it gold. Um, if you know what she's actually holding, please do leave a comment down below because I'm not entirely sure myself. So yeah, um, next up I believe it's Scanlan, so look out for that one very soon, and I'll see you all in the next video. If you enjoyed this video then please feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. You can also click that bell icon to be notified when a new video has gone live on this channel. On the screen now are two more videos that you may wish to check out, and a link to our Patreon page also. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.